All right, so let's take a look for today. I'm gonna to start doing these live trading videos. So looking at EU, obviously there's two areas here. If we look on the hourly time frame, we're bearish. And what I essentially wanna see, I wanna see price come into this weekly OB down here. Uh, so if we look on the four hour time frame, massive imbalance down here as well, just a big demand zone overall. If we look on the 15 minute time frame here, you can see we created these relative equal lows. So if we leave these lows, if we leave these untouched, I want to see uh, a retracement up into this area to potentially look for lower time frame confirmation to take it into this area. Or we're going to not see that confirmation entry. It's going to run Asia and London high, and then we're going to get our confirmation entry down. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Uh, if we do get a nice clean run below these lows, and then we get like a break of structure to the upside, then I'll look for longs. But ideally, I'm waiting for shorts out of this region or this region if these equal lows are held intact, because like I said, I wanna see price go down lower. Uh, if we look at AU right now, uh, similar, we've been reading this beautifully out of our weekly and daily OB up here. We've had a break of structure on the four hour again, and I see it's coming down into these levels. Huge trend line liquidity below, um, created this new price swing. So what I wanna see on this, these lows get taken out, but I wanna see a retracement up into this fair value gap or into this breaker up here. So those are two areas of interest for me here and then here. We'll see if it happens or if we're gonna gun for sell side first and then we'll see the uh, the opposite, break a structure in the opposing direction and then look for, uh, look for longs. So that's the analysis for today. Now we're just waiting, chilling, gonna set alerts and then uh, go from there. So I'll pick up as more stuff happens. If we look at DXY2, coming out of the daily OB over here, 61 retracement, swing low put in. We have to break this high, otherwise we're just going to continue bearish like we have each time. There hasn't been a, a bullish break of structure on the daily yet, um, but we are in a discount of this greater leg, so I'm expecting that. But again, I was posting in the community that this is going to be a key area. We're either going to sell or we're gonna have a slight reaction and drive up into these levels up here, which would give us that break of structure again on DXY, which is hopefully what's gonna happen. Um, but either way, I wanna see price come down into these levels. Same thing on AU, I wanna see this liquidity taken out. Then we can kind of reassess from there. But now it's the waiting game. As December, you guys know, December trading can get kind of dust, so. You just got to wait and see what happens. going to be doing more of these live trading videos. Obviously, I'll skip when I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Um, but when interesting stuff's happening or I feel the need to talk about something, then I'll, I'll talk about it in the video. So once we're in here, I'm going to look for a lower time frame break of structure. And if we don't get that, then I think we're coming for this one up here in a deeper premium of this range. Uh, Cause if we take this across like this, you can see we didn't actually come up. We just front run. So we could come up into this area. If that happens, we'll be ready. But I definitely, especially when there's two areas like this, I'll wait for confirmation usually on both, but um, definitely not gonna set a pending on this. Just because there is a chance that this area becomes a weak high because it failed to break this low. So we'll see, we'll see. Need that extra confirmation here. EU starting to come up a little bit. DXY is coming down pretty heavy actually. I expect an internal sweep, which would make sense. All right, just took a short position here out of this area. This is exactly what I wanted. We're either gonna be early um, and we'll look for another opportunity or the market's gonna dump for our take profit area. So another confluence for me is DXY was in my order block here. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. So I actually got a pretty crappy fill on this market execution. So it says it tagged me in at 295. Yeah, my market executed here, tagged me in here. So 
So it won't quite be a one to three, but rather be in the trade than not. I don't want to prematurely go break even yet, just because I got a worse fill. Uh, but if we create a new fair value gap on the M5 or something like that, then I'll go break even. But because I didn't get a, the greatest fill, um, I'm going to wait. Probably manage risk somewhere down here. So now that we've created this order block right here before my entry, I'm going to go break even and remove risk from this trade. Let's roll to BE because we are in an area that we could potentially come, come all the way back up and we are balanced all the way up here. So I don't want price action back up here because we have these equal highs here. So this is a risk-free trade now and we will see what happens. I'm back. Let's see if we can break this low. DXY is coming for that high, hopefully. Can hope anyway. 930 is gonna create 930 is going to create a liquidity injection. So obviously stocks are going to open. What I'm hoping is the open in two minutes drives price down into these lows. And then we'll go from there. Um, I have my TP below this low, but we will see. Um, I may just close it at this low if it, if it comes there. Um, just because it was a one to three at the bottom, but because of the fill that I got, wasn't as good. We have PMI in 30 minutes, so I'm hoping that we hit TP before that news event. I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping 930 pushes price back down into this area. That'd be elite. All right, so stocks are opening now. Let's see if we can break below this demand zone. If we break below here, we got clean traffic down to this level here. We did get a nice 30 minute close. Let me know if any of you guys have read this book. Just got it yesterday on the first chapter, uh, but a lot of people have recommended it and I think it's about time I give it a go. Hopefully uh, EU has the power to go down here. Really hoping we catch some steam here and break below this low. And then we got clear traffic to this low here. I'm hoping this just taps somewhere within here and then we drop heavy. But again, we got news coming up. Unfortunately, we didn't break below this low, so this could be a break even trade. It is what it is, if that happens, not a big deal move on and wait for the next opportunity so we shall see we shall see or it needed liquidity to continue down so now we got this bad boy either way we're chilling let's hope we're done in the next 25 hope we get a clean drive into these lows here so I'm going to be rolling my stop above this high now because I don't want price coming back up. We swept liquidity so we could easily continue up. So I'm going to bank some profit here at the New York session open. All right. So stop loss has been dragged to 229. I wouldn't be managing risk normally this aggressive, but because we have PMI, even if you're break even, you can get slipped. So I'd rather just cover my ass and hey, it is what it is. At the end of the day, we lock in 0.7R, worst case scenario. So I'm totally okay with that, to be honest. Now is when I hope we start to gun for this area. Maybe if I put the magnet tool here, it'll work. You saw it here first. If the magnet tool works, drop a like on this video. Maybe if I make it bigger, it'll work even more. All right, come on, Magnet, work. Work, Magnet. Work. Perfect. TP hit, boys. The magnet. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I was making sure the trade closed. Uh, here we go. Boom. Here you go. Wait. Lovely profit. Let's go. We'll take it. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And what do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day. Appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one.